Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Um, I hope you've watched my previous videos. I'm just gonna plug them anyway. Um, I just posted um, something about how to deal with lack. Um, if I find the link, I'll attach it to the video. If I find it, you know, I should be able to find it. <laughs> um, and I've done like a short vlog as well. I'm just, you know, trying my hand. Um, is that how you say it? Trying your hand at something. Um, yeah, so I'll put a vlog out. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in it, go watch it give me some feedback on how i can improve my videos and um, that would be great um yeah this video obviously as you can tell from the title is um how to reduce your expenditure your outgoings or your spending in general i'm hoping this is going to be um, appropriate for this season that we're in this economic climate this quarantine season um and this video i think is generally going to be applicable to all um all year round um and it's going to be applicable to um everyone worldwide but i think mainly if you're in the uk this will be good for you because most of the things i'm going to be talking about will be connected to the circumstances of people who live in the uk okay so i i hope it's going to be useful to you and you can obviously get some tips off here ignore the sun by the way it's literally only like yeah i don't know how to manage that one so <laughs> yeah let's get straight into the video one um one main point is to um cancel your direct debits that's one of the first things you can do in this climate listen there are a lot of um subscriptions and direct debits that are coming out of your account that you have no control of right now like i was checking mine um just a day or two ago and i realized that i realized that there were two that i could cancel so if you have um direct debits coming out of your account listen cancel some of them i think standing orders as well you can obviously cancel those as well so look into it go into your account right now or after this video don't do that just now <laughs> after this video and check what you need to cancel right now otherwise you're in for a huge loss in this season um and these businesses they're still going to be taking their money despite what's happening okay um second thing you can do is try and make some money because the truth is in this climate we do we are not guaranteed anything like in the uk right now let me just say um they're predicting up to 20 percent of the whole population of the uk um is going to be redundant it's going to be made redundant in the next week listen <laughs> that is peak like that's a lot of people who are going to be out of jobs and they're not going to be there's not going to be any guarantee as to whether they're going to be getting back to jobs or not so um it's a huge issue if you're one of those people or you or potentially you risk losing money what I'll advise is, um, like I said, cancel your direct debit first step. Second thing you can do is sell some of your stuff on Depop or eBay. All the stuff that you bought in the house that you have never worn before, or the shoes or the clothes, like, listen, <laughs> jump on eBay, okay? Style yourself at home, take pictures, get, I don't know, siblings or somebody else, your partner, to take pictures of you and then try and sell some other stuff away on e ebay and depop it might take a while for people to get it but eventually i promise you they will get sold obviously make them reasonable prices that might help it might not be a lot but it'll bring some money into your pocket for the next thing that you need to do that is going to be more important okay um third thing you can do is to stop ordering stuff online i can't say this enough man <laughs> honestly <laughs> listen these online shops yeah they're getting bad um what they're doing is they're offering a lot of discounts to people which is like luring them or enticing them into buying stuff online preparing them for like spring and i know spring is imminent yeah it's probably here today i think um but that's not the point the point is that we don't we're not guaranteed any jobs we don't know whether we've got jobs for the next like four weeks to like even 12 weeks and beyond we don't know how the government is going to deal with with a lot of things so listen don't get caught up in the hype here be buying stuff online that's all i'm gonna say um so yeah be spending wisely and very sensibly um another thing you could do is to turn your heating off i know everyone's gonna be at home now um yeah it's not quite spring yet it's, it's it looks like a spring but it's really really cold you know that uk weather yeah um so a lot of people still have their heating on what i can do is advise you to turn it on like maybe two hours or three hours in the evening or when not that everyone is out, but even in the daytime, try and, you know, put, layer up like a lot of cardigans or like try and hide in your bed if you can. I'm not um, advocating a sedentary lifestyle, but like, um, it's important that you don't waste electricity because the truth is the bills are going to go up unless they do something about the whole energy and the water situation. 
we don't know that there's no confirmation on that yet but before that happens this is what i can recommend to you guys try and turn off your heating now that you're home okay um another thing that i'm gonna recommend is if, if you've got a few houses with your partner or your um some um some family members what you can do is try and stay together in the same house rather than you know stay in two three four different houses if you've got more than you know one house that is um and then if you are all safe and sound and healthy and none of you have you know the c word stay at home together in the same house and try and utilize the resources and, and the energy and whatever else in that same house rather than living in different apartments and racking up bills because we don't know whether we're going to have money or not by saying that people who you normally have like more than a house or two usually can afford what i'm talking about so you might at that point may not be relevant at all whatsoever but if you want to save a bit of money and you have you know more than a house and you still think this is a sensible thing to do please go ahead and do it um another thing that i'm, I'm gonna mention this might sound slightly controversial okay yeah <laughs> get ready um i i recognize that a lot of people are going to be um introducing online services now i mean online services have always been on but especially now that the only industry that's not affected um by this whole situation is online services and yeah i think i can say online services a lot of businesses are moving online now food is being delivered online um i mean shops are delivering online literally everything is online um, business strategists, marketers, whatever. Everyone is on Netflix, uh, YouTube, whatever. It's all shifting into an online space and people are going to be charging you for services. What I'm going to advocate or tell you right now is be careful so you don't get sucked into the whole, oh, you need this service online. What you, whatever you're consuming online, yeah, on Instagram, on Facebook, make sure you're actually not being influenced or enticed into buying things that you don't really need in this period. And if you're going to be paying for a certain service online, I would recommend that you make sure that you're actually going to need it for the long term or it can produce money. So if you're paying for, I don't know, like say, I don't know, a consult consultant or something, make sure that it's producing something that you can also generate money from rather than you losing the money and not having any guarantee of it returning back to you. So, yeah, be careful about all those online services that are going to pop up in the next like week two. Um, I mean, there's probably a lot more that I could cover, but off the top of my head, these are the things that I thought um, I could share with you. Um, the whole point is obviously to save a bit of money since we're not guaranteed any income for the next like four to 12 weeks. Oof, that sounded painful. <laughs> but now that I said it, four to 12 weeks, which is a good three months. Ooh, the bills, the rent, whatever is going to come out. I mean, I'm praying to God that the, the UK government puts like a hold or. Um, or freeze on some of the you know transactions and the bills and whatever else I and mean, i'm hoping businesses can accommodate that in this tight period so yeah um if you found this video useful as always please leave a comment below like it subscribe to my channel there's going to be more of these kinds of videos that are going to be um, i'm going to be sharing um share it with somebody you think that's um, this is going to be useful to and i hope as always i was of some benefit to you and this um, time wasn't wasted so yeah i'll catch you in the next one as usual and yeah see you later